Was there a quid pro quo signed between America, <coughs> IMF, and uh, Pakistan that Pakistan gives up Al Zawahiri and IMF will release the 1.25 segment of their loan to Pakistan? It's possible. Well, there was a tweet that was doing the rounds, and that tweet took a life of its own when Amrullah Saleh, the former vice president of Afghanistan, now the president in exile, some call him that because the, the real president has already fled the country. He is still fighting it out in Afghanistan, Panjshir Valley, you remember all that stuff. Anyway, um, so he also weighed in on that. So I'm going to show you a couple of tweets, and then we will set our dialogue based on that. Pakistan, IMF, and Al Zawahiri. What happened? So, Sushant Sareen tweeted that most likely Jawahiri could have been a bargaining chip for Pakistan to give up in exchange for getting the $1.25 billion segment of the, the bigger loan of IMF. They have, you know, they give it in segments and each segment has a set of deliverables that the person who's getting the loan must do. And I've told you in the past uh, hangout on how well Pakistan has worked with the IMF in the previous bailout that they got. Anyway, that's a different matter. Amrullah Saleh said that it is most likely Shamsi airfield, which is very close to Quetta, maybe 100, 200 kilometers from where this drone would have been launched. Therefore, Pakistan would have known about this being launched. So Pakistan cannot deny that they did not know about this attack. There is no other place from where they could have launched this uh, drone. The drone itself, I'm going to share you some details, but let's take a look at the other things. You know, uh, I had a conversation with Sushant today and he said that, you know, Pakistan getting a $1.25 billion deal uh, is not a bad thing for India because it will give them a little bit of control, maybe a month, a month and a half. But at least for that time, there may be some things that they may be able to do to try and get their economy back on track. So that's a good thing. How did things come to this? Was it agreed to when COAS Bajwa spoke with Wendy Sherman? Possible. Now, there are other interesting things that Amrullah Saleh, who was participating on a debate in Republic TV re re revealed. One of them was that he said that there is an inter-ministerial cell that is being controlled by Pakistan. That is what is effectively running the Talibani government, his claim. Also, he said that there were four secret annexes that were signed along with the main agreement between Taliban and the United States. And according to him, one of those could have been a working ag agreement of sorts, which of which you are seeing the thing play out here, Zawahiri being taken out by a drone. He also goes on to say that Pakistan routinely monetizes the situation in Afghanistan to its own benefit. Now, there's one other thing I want to share, but before that, let me show you the drone used to bring down Al Zawahiri. It's a, called a Hellfire R9X. It's got six blades. Now, the idea is this drone, once it knows the person that it needs to take out, will open the blades at the very end and ensure that only one person, the person who is intended to be taken out, gets taken out. So very, very, uh, um, what I would call as high tech kind of an equipment. If this is true, then that means no one is safe. But U.S. is going to be very responsible about where they use it and so on and so forth. So let's give them the benefit of doubt there. What Hamrullah Saleh also said is that uh, there was a minister from Pakistan who claimed that Pakistan has saved $2 billion because they were only paying a token price for the coal they were getting from Afghanistan. Well, he had this additional thing to add. He said that the trucks carrying the coal were so overloaded, I guess they were paying by the truck, um, that there will be no road left for them to make the second run, meaning like it's going to be so bad that it will it'll break the roads down. Another interesting data point. So in conclusion, was there a quid pro quo? We don't know. But if the IMF loan does get released, at least there is a chance that something like this might have taken place. No one's going to say anything. But you know, we're all free to draw our own conclusions. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for sharing our videos. And we are now beginning to get a lot of traction. We hope to cross 
200,000 subscribers very soon. Our goal is to go up to 1 million subscribers. Thank you very much. Namaskar and talk to you soon.